Now the first step when modeling any mechanic situation is to decide how you want to split things up into point particles. If you're just throwing a ball around, that's pretty straightforward. But let's say, for example, I'm pushing a chair across the floor. What would be the point particle now? Well, there's no simple answer. It depends what you're trying to measure. If, for example, I'm pushing it across the floor at a steady speed and you want to know how long it's going to take me to get to the other end of the hallway, then you can treat me and the chair all as one big point particle and it has a position and a velocity. If, on the other hand, you're trying to work out whether my feet are going to slide or how bad a hole the chair legs are going to gouge in the floor, then you need to work out the force on the chair and the force on my feet separately. So you might choose those two point particles, point particle chair a point particle person, with a force in between them. If you want to know, work out whether the chair is going to tip over as opposed to be pushed along, then it's not enough to treat it as a point particle at all. You're going to have to worry about rotation. In that case, you'd have to treat the chair as a rigid body. And if you want to work out if the chair pull falls to pieces, then even a rigid body wouldn't be enough. So there is no simple answer to what bottle you need to use. You have to think about what am I trying to measure? What is the simplest model that will allow me to work out what I want without getting bogged down in other sorts of complexity.